Hi everyone, so we've got about one minute or so and then uh, we'll get started. So uh, yeah, welcome, come and join in and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get going in a minute or so. Similar to previous weeks as well, everyone, if you haven't um, got something to write with and on, then get that. doesn't matter if it's uh, pen and paper, mobile phone, laptop, whatever it is you feel more comfortable writing with, then that's fine. I'm going to get something to write in and with and on, and uh, we'll get cracking. Also, as well, if you've um, been with me for previous weeks, you know that I uh, I like the comment section to be... Yes, Grace, are you okay? Um, I like the comment section to be as, as interactive as, as possible. Don't expect you to all just sit there being quiet. So, um, yeah, please feel free at any point. Just just get involved in the comments and uh, we, can all, we can all have a, a little chat with each other. So, I'll do... I'll do what I do or what I did most weeks, which is uh, oh oh Isa want to shout out hi Isa I hope you're okay. Lindsay's there as well. Cool. Um, so yeah, I'll do what I did most weeks. We've got a lot to to get through today, and obviously a short space of time. So um, what we'll do is I'll just start off with a little poem, just to I don't know set the tone and uh, give give chance for a. Uh, any latecomers to come in and then we'll get we'll get cracking properly um i'm good thank you grace so this is a poem that i wrote last year for a um a workshop that i was doing with some some looked after children we had a great time working with them and I, the whole theme was uh, future me he was talking about what what your future self will be like and if you could write a letter to yourself in the future what what would it say so um this was my little poem for that i've only performed it i think once or twice before so um yeah hopefully you like it dear mr ambition i hope that you're keeping well you may have changed since we last spoke but it's impossible to tell i wish that when you open this you remember where it's from and that your get up and go hasn't just got up and gone because there was a passion and a hunger burning bright, a desire to provide inspiration into someone else's life. So if you're feeling trapped, doing something you don't love, then teleport back through time to the days I'm speaking of. To when you'd use a clean paintbrush to wipe away the sand from a pre-bought fossil that was bigger than both your hands. To when your back garden was a whole world of discovery. Don't view this as stupid, see it as a process to recovery. You're an archaeological site that needs to be explored. So keep on travelling back through time because there's so much more. There's a time where you wore pants on the outside of your trousers. Trying to swing from ceilings with your gadgets and your powers. You wanted to be a hero and always save the day. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? The citizens would say. But then you became a wrestling champion for the WWF. Where you beat every contender until there was no one left. You'd launch from your settee and plummet through the sky until your deadly elbow landed in your best friend's eye. Then you'd hook the leg for the one, two, three. You had defeated your whole friendship group. There was no one left to beat. And then at nine years old, you had a career change. But you always had an MO. You always had an aim. You wrote your name across the door as the lounge became your office. Dr. Windle will make you better. That was your forever promise. You wanted to be there for others and help those in need. So what made you decide that you would no longer believe? Was it finance? Was it housing? Were you struggling to pay the bills? Was all fun ejected from your bones until you refused to accept thrills? Was it bad choices? Was it mistakes? Was it anguish? Was it loss? When was the last time that for no reason you said, I'm just going to floss? Yes, I know you had to grow up. And pay the government for your right to exist. But your time isn't over yet. This isn't class dismissed. So whatever you've accomplished. And for everything you've seen. There's a big wide world that's out there. And you can still achieve your dreams. 
so there you go that is that i hope you enjoyed that and like i say i'm gonna uh i'm gonna get um oh hi hi harvey hope you're okay mate um good to have you with us welcome to the to the team so um yeah so last week if you remember if if you was with us we wrote haikus um, if you wasn't with us last week, that's absolutely fine. We'll we'll recap and go through everything, and that's going to be your first activity that I want you to do anyway. So as I've already mentioned, either get like a pen and paper, or just a mobile phone, or laptop, or whatever it is that you feel most comfortable writing on. And then I'd like you to write another haiku this time. It's going to be a little bit different to last week's haiku because this one's going to be more of a a riddle haiku. It's going to be a what am I haiku. So if you're unsure on what a haiku is that's fine uh, maybe just write these down it's three lines so it's, it's relatively quick to write the first line has five syllables the second line has seven syllables and the third line goes back to five syllables again so it's a five seven five uh, format with the haiku if you're working with somebody or, or a young person um that maybe struggles with syllables a bit depending on how young they are or whatever and they, if they just can't quite get the syllables forget the syllables you still be involved just do it with words instead so five words in the first line seven words in the second line and uh, five words again in the third line so that's another nice way to go about it and still be involved uh, in the creativity this time though what i'd like you to do we discussed last week haikus normally talk about love and nature what I'd like you to do this time, I'd like you to write a, a riddle haiku so that uh, people have got to try and guess what it is. So I'll I'll do one now, um, and if you think you know what it is, then type it in the comments, and then we'll set you off on onto your task. So you've got to um, you've got to guess what object you think I'm talking about. Um, yeah during this haiku and yeah like you see in the comments as well if you can if you can share the creativity and get more people to to chip in then uh feel free to share the video as well that would be great so i'm warned to protect but i cause pain to others the mitten of choice what am i and okay, so i'm warned to protect but i cause pain to others the mitten of choice so what do you think it is there that, that i'm talking about what do you think let me know in the in the comments what do you think that is i'm warned to protect but i cause pain to others the mitten of choice i think i am if you're not sure as well and you're going to try and figure it out then start writing your own little haiku because i'm going to give uh, three three minutes or so on this so you've got a minute per line to try and write a riddle haiku yeah my one for anyone that's just join us was i'm warned to protect but i cause pain to others the mitten of choice so what do you think it is that i'm talking about Let's have another two minutes or so. See if you can write your um, riddle haiku. Remember what I've said in previous weeks again as well that if if you ever don't haven't finished an activity by the time we move on, it's absolutely fine. Uh, it's just because we we're quite short on time, so I'm just trying to get through a lot. You can leave it where it is and and then come back to it once once the session has has finished. So um, don't need to worry a, a great deal. And still about 90 seconds to work on your riddle haiku and if you get chance as well i'd like you to to write your haiku in the poem uh, in the comments and see if if people that are that are watching and reading the comments can can guess what the haiku is or what it is that you're talking about if anyone can think they guess mine as well it's a bit easier to guess mine i think if you if you know what what my other job is as well if you know what i do for a living so my riddle haiku has five syllables seven syllables and then five syllables again i'm warned to protect 
but I cause pain to others, the mitten of choice. What am I? Okay, you're inside the last minute now, and then we'll move on again. Yes, boxing gloves. Well done, Linz. And again, for anyone that's maybe just, just tuning in, so boxing gloves, um, I'm a professional boxer as well, so that I wear them, I wear gloves to protect my hands and to keep them safe, so I'm worn to protect. I cause pain to others, so obviously when you when I'm punching my opponent, it, it hurts a little bit, so the gloves are, are causing pain. And then, of course, it's it's my mitten of choice. Don't wear mittens. I'm not wearing them to keep my hands warm. I'm wearing them to have a fight. So, yeah, boxing, boxing gloves. So if you can write a, a riddle haiku similar, but about anything that it could be an animal, uh, a food, a sport, whatever, if you can write your own little riddle haiku, then that would be great. And uh, write it in the comments because I'm interested to see uh, see what you can come up with. Okay. Oh, perfect, Gracie. Okay, so what we'll do then, um, if you get a chance, Gracie, type it, type it up in the comments, and we'll we'll see if we can guess what it is, and then I'll explain as well what I want you to do next, what our next activity is. So I'd like us to to build on this now. Oh, yeah, let's see what Ice has got. I'm tall and stand proud. But grounded by my roots, I create shade for you. Anyone guess in the comments what Isa's mystery haiku is talking about? I'm tall and stand proud. Nice bit of personification going on there as well. But grounded at my roots, I create shade for you. Loving it, Isa. <laughs> Love it. Go on in, Gracie. Let's see yours and we'll see if other people can guess it. Freddy's on it, on it, tree. Oh, that's all right, Gracie. There's no, there's no good or better or whatever. We're all just uh, remember these poems are only three minutes old, so I'm not expecting anyone to come up with perfection. It's just about um, getting involved with it. Okay, so the next task that I want you to do, then we're going to build on this now. Okay, so I need you to write another haiku, and I know you're thinking, oh, another haiku, but um, it's more than a haiku because you're going to have three lines so it'll be five seven five again like a haiku but then you're going to add another two lines on it now so you're going to create a five line poem and the final two lines both have seven syllables okay so there's no rhyming it's five seven five seven seven just in case you're writing it down or whatever okay and that's called a tanker now, we discussed last week that um, haiku poetry is from the 9th century. Tanker poetry is even older than haiku. And uh, it's where haiku ended up being originating from, from the tanker initially. So, um, I would like you to write a tanker poem. So, you'll have five, seven, five syllables and then two lines of seven syllables. But what I've done is, if you can't read the words on this, it's absolutely fine. You don't need to read it. I'm just kind of holding it up so you can see that there's something on there. I've wrote different um, poetry topics on these sheets of paper. I'm going to select one at random. So that was just your favourite food. Uh, this one is your hobby, what it is you like doing. School, love, because haikus are often about uh, love and nature, which is the next one. 
And your final topic is togetherness and teamwork and that sort of stuff. So what I do is I'm going to give them a little shake, pick one out at random, drop them on the floor, pick one up. Okay, so togetherness. Okay, so I need you to write a tanker. A five-line poem that has five seven five syllables in the first three lines and then two seven syllables uh, for the final two lines okay on the theme of togetherness that's your task as well so we're gonna have uh, maybe five minutes on that so again you've got one minute per line okay five minutes on that if you if you get stuck at all then let us know in the comments and everyone will we we'll chip in and, and help you out as best as we can. I'm just going to scroll through the comments and read some of the poems that have been coming through. That's awesome, Gracie. I love it. Give life to sun. Cut me down. I'll grow again. The circle of life. That's great, Gracie. Now, I think the last sentence nice, but it's your poem, it's it's here. Oh, your tanker. Okay, sorry, Zane, I'm just uh, getting through the comments. This tanker is about togetherness. Okay, so teamwork, working together, um, you know, families, friendship groups, whatever. Just the tanker is about togetherness. Zainadin's ha haiku is stumping me as well. I do have four legs, but I am not alive. I once was a tree. Is it a chair? A wooden chair? Uh, sorry, Gracie. So the tanker is five seven five seven seven. So you've got it perfect. Apart from that, extra, you don't need the extra five. Poppy's great, mate. Uh, Send it in the comments, let's have a read. Yeah, so tanker, five five lines, and then the syllables are five seven five seven seven. But again, like I said earlier, if you if you're working with a young person or someone struggling with with syllables, just do words. So five words, seven words, five words, seven words, seven words. No rhyming, no rhyming in this one. So have another two or three minutes on these tankers. Like I said, it doesn't matter if you haven't finished them. It gives you something to do once the workshop is over if you haven't finished them. Hit me with a little uh, thumbs up on the comments as well if you're if you're doing okay, if you if everyone's kind of happy with where they're at with the tank, Karen, and what you're doing, um, give me a little thumbs up because that's that's as much interaction as I'm getting at the moment. Uh, obviously, there's no no human interaction, so if you're good with the tankers, um, just let me know. A couple people have thank you. I love my puppy, 
He is just so soft and small. He has dreamy eyes and four fancy feet as well. When he barks, I feel happy. Love it, Zane. What's your puppy's name? With lots of planets in another galaxy, one is Tatooine from Jonah. Love it. Yeah, rainy Cornwall. It's rainy in Birmingham today as well. So, uh, weather's not as nice as last week, is it? I bet you, last week some people were sending me photos of their children sitting in the garden, writing their poetry. Don't think there'll be many people doing that today. So now, Jonah, you got 575, you got your lovely haiku on Star Wars. See if you can come up with another two lines now that have seven syllables in each line. Keep into that theme. We just have two more minutes on this, then I'm going to set you off on your final activity. And then we're done for another week. That's okay, two, two years old, he's still fairly young, even for a dog, so let's uh, enjoy it, make the most of them. Perfect. Working together isn't always easy, but if you try hard, you can always make it work and a little fun as well. Love it. Okay, so final thing that I'm going to get you to do then is the same format as what you've just done. So another 57577, seven, seven, another five line poem. I'm going to pick another uh, topic at random. But this time, the 7-7 seven, seven is going to be a rhyming couplet. Okay, and that's it's referred to sometimes as a renga. Now, a renga traditionally is a, is a linked poem where one poet writes the first three lines and then a different poet writes the final two lines. So if you're working with someone at home, if you're doing this with someone, then you could write three lines, they could write three lines, and then you swap over and you'll finish off with two lines and they'll finish off with two lines but if it's just you um, working then uh, that's fine just do five seven five seven seven but make sure those two sevens rhyme with one another at the very end and your topic for that is going to be <laughs> nature okay so I like to do another one about nature, some of it. I tell you what, I'm gonna give you another one because some of you did tree for the riddle poem as well, didn't you? Which was nature. So if you want to do one about nature, then you can. If not, do one about love. So it's up to you. So you're now writing a renga, which is five seven five seven seven. But those final two lines at seven seven, they're going to rhyme with one another. So if you remember one of the haikus that I read out to you last week in these little books that I've been making I put from face to Facebook telegrams to Instagram homing birds now tweet so that was my haiku if I wanted to turn that then into a renga 
after homing birds now tweet i could say something like um we communicate online um, and then we'd have to rhyme with line so rhyme time um, we don't seem to have much time for example we all communicate online we don't seem to have much time so putting those that rhyming couplet at the end of my three lines of a haiku um, that makes it a, a renga we've got six minutes before the end of the workshop so um, if you can have a, another two or three minutes writing your rengas and then if we could put some in the comments before we finish off then I'd, I'd like to see what you've come up with If anyone's struggling to rhyme with a word as well, then let us know in the comments and I'll help you out as best as I can and people in the comments have probably got better ideas than me, they can they can help you out as well. Just to let you know as well, for next week's session, we'll be doing something different to the past couple of weeks. We've been looking at Japanese poetry and we will come back as the weeks go on and look at some more forms of Japanese poetry. But next week we're going to do something a little bit different. So um, by next week, if you could think of a colour that you'd like to write about, um, come armed with a colour and that, that's as much as I'm going to say for now but come armed with a colour and um, we'll use that in a, in a style of poetry next week Do I look like a Bond villain? Just sat back in my chair stroking my moustache like that I look like a, I'm planning to take over the world. Right, so have another minute if you can get your your renga done in that time, and then uh, if you can if you can share some with us in the comments before we go, that'd be fab. Rengas traditionally were, were used as as love poems as well. So it's it's funny that love is the word that we we picked for your topic because um, traditionally someone would write the first three lines and they'd they'd give it to a loved one and they'd write the two lines and then give it back and you just kind of keep passing notes but in a in poetry form. As I say, if you're working with someone at home, you both can write three lines, swap, and then you can finish off with the rhyming couplet. If you're just working on your own, just do the whole five lines on the one sheet of paper. One or two people as well after last week um, made themselves a few a few poetry books and, and sent them through to me. It's it's great to see your designs and, and what you've been doing. So like I say, I think we're doing this over a period of weeks and and we we're living through such a historic time at the moment it's it's just a nice little way to to commemorate it rather than having bits of ideas scribbled down on on random sheets of paper do that first and then when you've got something that you're you're happy with um just create yourself a a mini book and write your poems in inside of the book and you can decorate them and stuff and it just gives you something else to do whilst in isolation as well um, if you're not sure how to create the mini books and you can just go on YouTube and look at Matt Windle poet mini book um, and 
uh, I'll talk you through how to create one. And then you could write a load of notes and ideas in the workshop with me, and then you could go off, spend the rest of the day or week or whatever you want to do, um, getting it just right. And then when you're happy with it, you can write them down in your in your little books and then send them to me or tag me or whatever it may be on Facebook. And I, I'd love to read what it is that you've been coming up with. Right, we've got one minute, so if anyone can quickly type something up in the comments and, and send it through, um, I'd love to read it. If not, if you're not happy with it yet and you just want to send it me later on, then that's great as well. I, I want to read them. And there we go, smack on one thirty. So um, that's pretty much it then, everybody. That's the end of, of today's workshop. Thank you again for joining me. It's uh, a bit of a dark grey, dull day, but uh, hopefully you've had a you've had a good half an hour just being creative and and doing something a little bit a little bit different. Like I say, next week we're going to put the Japanese style poetry to one side that we've done for a couple of weeks. Next week we're going to do something on the theme of colours, so come with a colour, um, your favourite colour really, if you come with a favourite colour and we're going to write about that, but if you don't necessarily have a favourite colour, um, then you can also come with a colour that you hate as well, so um, either or, I'd, I'd choose favourite colour to begin with, but uh, if you're not too sure on your favourite, then come with a colour that you don't like. Okay, so keep working on those riddle haikus. Send me some riddle haikus as well, see if I can figure them out. Okay, keep working on your riddle haikus, your tanker poems, and your rengas. Send them through to me. Um, and of course, I can't see you waving, so um, give me a little thumbs up or something to wave goodbye, and I'll uh, I'll see you all again next week. Um, all being well. Okay, everyone, stay safe, and I'll uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye. Yeah, you've got a couple of people waving. Love it. Fab. See you later, everyone. Stay safe and uh, keep in touch. See you later.